all on that bitch, bitch. I'm telling you, ho. Bitch, be me the fuck over, bitch. I am taking that. What's up, what's up? It's your girl Smiley from Baddies East. And I'm here with Trashy. And let's get to trash talk. Next one, let's go. I hope y'all, I hope y'all hold know how to read when y'all come in here. What's the worst breakup you've ever been through? I've never really had a bad breakup, bitch, because I break up with them, so I love it. My relationships be loud. I, listen, I've been long, like six years, seven years. Like, my shit be long. How do you keep your man? Suck that dick real good. You gotta suck your man dick, dick real good, bitch. If you don't suck your man dick real good, bitch, you got, he's gonna leave you. He's gonna find a bitch that's gonna... <laughs> mm, all on that bitch, bitch. I'm telling you, ho. If you not gonna do it, bitch, I will. At night, bitch, these motherfucking teeth go like gummy mummies, bitch. You don't never know I got teeth in my mouth. And I got good pussy. I kept the nigga for so long. I only been in like maybe five relationships and they've been longer than three years. So trust me, and trust me, they don't cheat. Next question. Can men and women be friends? Bitch, don't play with me. Bitch, that is dead. For the minute you walk in my house, bitch, and we together, bitch, and you my man, you ain't got no homegirls. Not on my time, bitch. If you my man, don't fucking play with me, bitch. You can't have no homegirls. You can't have no bitches. Bitch, if I go through your phone, bitch, and I see a hoe, bitch, I'm calling her, I'm harassing that hoe. Don't play with me. Friends turn into fuck friends. When I go on your Instagram, bitch, I should only see dicks going straight down your motherfucking timeline. <laughs> Next question. Where's the craziest place you've had sex? Behind a police station. My nigga had just got out of jail, and I fucked him right behind, like, the police stations with the jail, and I fucked him right there, bend me over outside the car. Right after he got out of jail, bitch. Right there, fuck me, yeah, bend me over. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nibble on the head real quick. Yeah. I even told that nigga, when you come out them doors, you better make sure that you bathe right quick with that plastic soap. Bitch, bend me the fuck over, bitch. I am taking that dick. Matter of fact, put your thumb in my, in my ass, you know what I'm saying? And you know after I fuck, I have to pee, so I just squatted after and I peed right there too. Shout out to the inmates that was watching on top. <laughs> bitch, I know y'all was beating y'all meat to me. <laughs> that arch look good, huh? Real good, I know. Listen, we gotta do something different with this fake one. What's your unpopular dating opinion? I never dated my race. Now I have a, I have a new go-to. I want red niggas. Mmm, red. I always been with dark chocolate. The chocolate men are crazy about us. And you know what's crazy? I only dealt with Haitian niggas. They is controlling. They're like a virus. Listen, it's bad. It's bad. And it's so addicting. Ooh. Boy, I can tell you about a Haitian man, boy, from far away, man. They is crazy, but they got some good fucking juju dick, bitch. You can't let that bitch go. Listen, once you start fucking on a Haitian bitch, I'm telling you, stuck like Chuck Ho. Bitch, you better go find a good ass woo lady, kid. <laughs> like I can wipe my ass with him. Take a shit in this bucket. What's the corniest thing a guy has done for your attention. A nigga tried to suck my toes in the middle of the fucking club. Damn, dog, my bad, bro. I had to let it in now. <laughs> I feel bad. <laughs> it was that story. It was the night that Sway Lee came in there and shit like that. It was all vibing. And some fine ass little, you know, light skinned little red nigga. He was all up on me, feeling on me, trying to dance me. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, okay. He's like, you're so beautiful, rubbing on my arms, touching on me. I'm like, hey, you're getting a little frisky with me. You better relax. So we were just, we sitting down, we talking, and he was like just letting me know he got a fetish to my feet. I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? He was like, come here, let me massage your feet. And do I not tell you the nigga tried to like put his whole, like, whole, whole mouth on my shit, like grabbing my shit. I'm like, yo, this nigga wild in the middle of a fucking club, bitch. Yeah, he, he was, he was nibbling on my toe. And what was he doing time? Watching, <laughs> tapping my homegirl. Little bitch, a little. Next question. Let's go. What's your biggest turn off on social media? When you know the nigga in real life and he ain't living like that. Y'all niggas ain't dreading like that. Back the fuck up. Y'all niggas keep wearing the same outfits. Bitch, the same Gucci sandals. Yo, niggas thought they'll change the hoodie and keep the same slides on. Bruh, then they, they, then they want to flex in the renty car, bruh. Like, nigga, I know the renty man. Relax. I know Poppy. Niggas be called me for real, kid. Next one, let's go. 
What's your biggest turn on? I'm big on a nigga, feet and hands. If your hands is done, manicured, clean, I love that shit. Nigga, you can get my number, I don't give a fuck if you're fat, whatever. I love that, cause I know you take care of your hygiene. And I love a nigga teeth. I, I don't know, I'm big on like a smile on a man and a nigga voice. I love a man with a manly voice, you know? That shit turns me on. Matter of fact, come whisper that shit in my ear. Come here, come, come call me Mama Sita. Come here, papi. Yeah. Come speak to me, Creole. Yeah. Bonsoir. Come on here, papi. I love that shit. Next question. How many fights have you been in? In the back of my hands, I can't count. I don't know, so many. What's the dumbest reason you ever got a dumbest fight? Oh, a bitch cut me off on the highway. I, I really pulled over real road range. Matter of fact, y'all can pull it up. I got to shoot out. Next one, let's go. When did you realize that you were toxic? When I put cameras all over my house inside. Bitch, cause the nigga was doing funny ass shit. Bitch, why, like, I don't know, like hiding in the garage and hiding his phone. He'll have a whole second phone in the house and I ain't even know about it. Watching porn behind my back every like hour. The shit was just weird. Wait, just so man, much. You figured out he was watching porn. Because I heard the whole moaning. It's that deep. It was weird porn too. He had an addiction with like big fat women, like very big and very nasty and he liked to watch bitches eating food and he used to like a big woman get like a train ran by like six seven niggas on like it was just so much like i don't even understand how a man can watch so much dick and it, it freaked me out and that's when i started like backing up like baby you got to go i don't know you go you, you now you starting to ask me to put my little thumb in your booty you got to go <laughs> I don't even understand why you had to watch porn, bitch. I suck your dick from the back, bitch. I tell you, put your balls right here. Put your balls right here. <laughs> bitch, I be in that bitch like this. Mm. Oh. <laughs> 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 but it's all right. What's the brokest thing someone has done around you? It's some little hoe that, you know, was around with, you know, my dolls and shit, but, you know, she was just lingering. She thought because I left to the bathroom and my dog was watching my purse, the bitch could go in my shit. Bitch, I beat the fuck out there. Bitch, you got me fucked the fuck is you? Why are you even playing in the club like that? And you thought I didn't know the owner of the club to be replay the fucking video? Bitches, you dumb? The bitch got me banned from the office. I had to get banned though. Wow. It had, it, cause I had to get banned. It was a lot behind me. Mm-hmm, real ugly. Okay, next question. Have you ever cheated? If so, did you get caught? You know what? I never cheated. If I don't want to fuck with you, I'm just not going to fuck with you, and I'm going to let you know I'm going to go fuck on another nigga if I need to. It's just never been me. I can play with my pussy if I need to. I know how to catch my own nut. I know how to get this pussy cream. A bitch, if you had to pick a food to describe your sex life, what would it be? Noodles. Wet and long. <laughs> My pussy stay wet and I deal with long dick. <laughs> okay, next question. What's the brokest thing someone has done on a date? Order from a kid's menu. <laughs> that shit was crazy. But it's Applebee's, we could have got a two for 20. Yeah. You fucked around and got a whole fucking chicken tender with fries. <laughs> Bitch, that was so comic to me, kid. Yo, I said, bro, you think this dumb right here finna eat off a kid's menu? Bitch, I made sure that I got the most expensive thing. I want a ribeye, whatever the fuck I need to get off of this shit. I want like three appetizers. Matter of fact, I'm gonna get some for my son. You know who you are. Next question. What's your biggest deal breaker? I would say a nigga that don't have ambition and don't know the duet. My nigga needs to know the duet. I would love a nine to five nigga, but I'm just not on a level for a nine to five nigga. I have been past that. I was a bitch that liked the nine to five. There wasn't nothing wrong with a nigga nine to five. But just when you start elevating, you start getting to a different level, shit, shit gotta change. When you start elevating, you will know you're elevating. You'll see it. Your people change, your friends change. Because I'm gonna tell you something, you can never bring your same friends up. They're, they're gonna switch up straight up. They're not ever gonna stick around. They're either gonna get jealous, they're gonna be mad, they're gonna feel like, you know, you're not doing enough for them, you're not putting them on, and they are gonna start asking you why you not posting them, why you not resharing them, but they're not understanding that there's levels to this thing. I worked hard to where I'm at, why you just can't do the same? Let's see. What are the signs that someone is cheating? 
<laughs> bitch, don't fucking put your phone on do not disturb, bitch, because I'm going to automatically think that you're cheating on me, bitch, and I'm going to go crazy. I'm going to text you 150,000 times, bitch. Why the fuck is your phone do not disturb? Bitch, don't stay with me. Why is it off? Why is my messages delivering, but your phone is off? I mean, I'm importa, bitch. I'm going to fuck you up, papi. If that shit don't stay by my iPhone, you not on it, that shit just says loading, no location found, bitch, it's up. This is the last question, y'all. What's a red flag you'll ignore if the person looks good? <laughs> Bitch, I don't give a fuck if you don't take care of your kids. <laughs> you already know it's your girl, Smiley. If it ain't trash, bitch, it's trash. Yeah.